you will have to remove in order to remove the la the the uh, latch assembly in the back. You will have to remove the the lock pin and the handle from the outside. That's what we'll do now. out we will be modifying the latch assembly by changing the position of the spring and reducing the size here to roughly three quarters of an inch so from the top view down you're looking at this at the at its widest where the glass is going to travel which is where the bell is where the bell is this angle has to be half, uh, three quarters of an inch wide at its widest Okay, we're going to be modifying the um, the latch assembly by changing the position of this spring. The mount of the spring is going to change because it's in the way of where the glass travel, where the glass travels. Uh, the glass tolerance is very critical, so this is one of the uh, uh, major adjustment points. What we've just done also is actually greased up our our regulator, our original regulator, and added the new rollers. We simply grind the back, back of the uh, old roller, pop it out with the center punch, and then you're gonna, you are gonna need a step drill, a step drill to make the hole bigger for the quarter twenty bolt to fit through. You also, once you do that, don't forget to put the Loctite on the uh, on the threaded part so it doesn't loosen up on you in the future. After you're done with the rollers, you do remember that two rollers pointing one direction, the single roller pointing the opposite direction is the inside one that you can't change, you don't change. Don't forget to uh, grease everything up, make sure it's nice and loose. We'll be proceeding to uh, change these, uh, the mounting position of the, new, of the old spring. This is the before shot. Okay, what we did we released the tension on the spring, we changed the mounting point of the bracket that was standing up, flattened it down, left the hole in the center, and what we're going to do is change the angle of, this bra uh, of the spring itself to fit in here. Okay, we've just modified the hinge assembly, I mean the, uh, the spring assembly, and gave it a 90 degree bend so it'll go in you will see it protruding on the other side this is the side you will just I mean just grind it off it will also once you bolt it on it doesn't push back out see what I'm talking about mm -hmm. okay you see that I just ground the back of the actual spring that was sticking out now it's nice and flat that's exactly what you want now you put the spring back into its position and it works just like it did before Okay, the next step is going to be uh, taking your sawzall or your manual cutting device. We're going to cut the brace from the inside and outside skin. It's pretty simple with the sawzall. I like using the longer blade because it gives you, uh, you don't have to ruin, if a car is freshly painted, you just grab onto the bottom and you don't have to ruin the paint. You got to be very careful in this step on a freshly painted car. <coughs> Like butter. 